Uh, Leadership Rhode Island is a uh, nonprofit organization that brings together leaders around the state from the for-profit, nonprofit, and government sector. Um, they, these leaders go through a 10-month course um, designed to look at critical issues that the state faces, and we meet with experts, we um, experience these different um, topics in real time so that hopefully when these leaders are done with their 10 months they can make uh, decisions, better decisions that take into consideration multiple stakeholder groups around the state. Today was uh, hospitality and tourism and uh, we're in uh, lovely South County um, because of uh, Yankee Magazine's um, inclusion of South County on their covers, um, cover magazine for July. Well, I was very pleased to be invited to Leadership Rhode Island to talk about tourism in Rhode Island and in New England. It's an incredibly important uh, industry to the entire region, and so it's great that the uh, Leadership Rhode Island folks are uh, learning about that, and uh, we're happy to help here at Yankee. They're uh, actually going through an exercise about branding Rhode Island and, and how they might promote it in a magazine ad. So this is about you know leaders of... Um, different viewpoints and different experiences and preferences coming together to create um, a advertising campaign to promote the, the state with. This is like making real ambassadors with, with homegrown leaders. So we've got um, some, some key speakers. Pretty much everybody that we could find that was a, a, a real influencer on tourism and hospitality in Rhode Island will be passing through these walls today. My name is Mark Brodeur and I'm the director of the Rhode Island Tourism Division. Hi there, my name is Myrna George, and I'm president and CEO of South County Tourism Council. Hi, I'm Dale Venturini. I'm president of the Rhode Island Hospitality Association. Hi, my name is Evan Smith. I'm the president and chief executive officer for the Newport and Bristol County Convention and Visitors Bureau. I'm John Tarabarelli, the Special Projects Manager for Providence Media. I'm Jessica Willey, and I'm with the Block Island Tourism Council and the Executive Director over there. Mission for today's class, um, besides getting a lot of um, data and factual information about the impact, the economic impact of tourism in the state, was to create a campaign for Rhode Island um, that would then be um, judged by a panel of judges and then included in a um, advertising campaign for Yankee Magazine. They are assigned to be essentially the State Tourism Council. They have to come up with an ad campaign to market our state to tourists from outside the state, come up with a slogan, a theme, a brand, some ad buys, and then uh, this afternoon we're going to narrow the assignment down for them to a little bit more of a focus, and uh, they're competing for a prize from Yankee Magazine that they'll find out about later today. Everywhere you go over the last 30 years, people have said, I went to the leadership around to positions of responsibility in the state. It's a great tourism destination, and the word of mouth is very important, and then uh, having a good marketing campaign, a, a, a good campaign that uh, lets people know how special Rhode Island is. So we did sort of a great math exercising process with our team. We thought we'd all spend the infrastructure for an application and or website that would allow you to deep dive and really do self-exploration to figure out what you want. And that this one unified theme can be used across the six groups in the state. What we wanted to do is to, uh, perceived ownership of what is your Rhode Island. What does Rhode Island mean to you? We hear uh, the same thing, your Rhode Island, for a day, a week, a lifetime. Rhode Island, uniquely yours. And um, part of our campaign would be to actually get people um, who live in Rhode Island or who have visited Rhode Island to um, share their stories and tips and pictures and videos of you know, what should you do. Flip a couple more pages and boom, there's a mansion and there's cows separated by 4.1 miles. Rhode Island's so small you can do it all that. And the website that will also create, you'll be able to click through and really see details of this particular checklist. I don't care if Mark Berger was on vacation, he should have stayed because he <laughs> really came up with some great stuff. And the next time he goes to an agency for a brainstorming session, he should be calling you. <laughs>
My favorite thing about Rhode Island is always the people. Um, I just find that there's a sense of community in Rhode Island um, because it is small, because people know each other, and I really enjoy that sense of community, that you can know a lot of people, that um, people are accessible, you can get to know people very easily, and you can create change here. Look out the door, look out the window. It is such a fabulous state and we have so much to offer and to watch all of these people dig deep and find it, it was really encouraging. You know, where else in the country could you get this group of people together in the same room to work on the same project to promote their state? There's a lot of pride and everyone seems to have a lot of pride for the state. I don't think I've lived anywhere in the country where people had such pride for the state. And, um, and that's compelling, it's contagious. I mean, I've caught the bug, and um, so many people I know have caught the bug, whether they're natives or, or not.